it might be bold to forecast that XRP will cost $100. It is somewhat doable, especially when some of the major international financial institutions start to formally employ XRP to test out cross-border transactions. The business is the most recent to try its hand at cryptocurrency in this reputable report. According to the report, Western Union, a financial services provider, is experimenting with the Ripple blockchain and the associated XRP coin. According to Western Union CEO Hikmat Ersek, the company is exploring using Ripple to settle transactions and for capital optimization. On February 13, he told analysts about the Ripple test during a conference call. The corporation is reportedly experimenting with XRP and Ripple's native coin, according to the TV outlet. Additionally, Ripple confirmed their partnership with Western Union, stating that they have been testing various products with them for some time. The business expressed its excitement about working toward a pilot implementation of XRapid, which would employ XRP in payment flows, in a blog post to Bloomberg News on February 14. The fact that the Ripple team stated that XRapid, which they are testing out with Western Union, will employ XRP in the payment flow, is once again the most crucial aspect of this. Therefore, Ripple has acknowledged that XRP is being utilized. Nevertheless, that is not the only article in another article posted on CryptoAlert.com. Western Union, a major financial institution, starts testing Ripple XRP. Ripple is mentioned as another significant player in the blockchain industry. Confirm the strategic partnership with Western Union and that XRP will be used in the payment flow of the system that will be put in place for their trial project. Furthermore, it mentions that Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse recently emphasized the benefit of XRP during a technology conference. Brad Garlinghouse emphasized that transactions using the cryptocurrency XRP are noticeably faster than those using any other cryptocurrencies, which I find to be very interesting. The speeds of XRP to Bitcoin are 1,000 times faster, including the market leader Bitcoin, about which he boasted. Additionally, XRP transactions have significantly better cost efficiency than Bitcoin transactions, and all of this is available for a much lower price. One thing that stands out is the fact that since XRP was declared insecure, many exchanges have started listing it again, and its use has grown significantly on a global scale. Coinbase Realist XRP, Rackn, Binance US, and numerous other exchanges have all started using XRP and collaborating with Ripple, and as a result of all of this, XRP has emerged as the only cryptocurrency in the United States of America with clear regulatory guidance. Therefore, XRP is experiencing a lot of activity, from major financial institutions like Western Union starting to experiment with their cryptocurrency to speed up financial transactions to exchanges buying XRP and holding on to it because they think it is the best cryptocurrency for payment services. This is actually what Brad Garlinghouse was emphasizing when he released a quote stating that XRP is efficient, and also going ahead and stating that it's very compelling for institutions to adopt XRP and the RippleNet system because of the efficiency that it offers and there aren't many coins like XRP. Although this is growing with the crazily fast adoption that is happening for XRP. But one of the coins I've seen is comparable, and the only reason I brought it up is because it resembles XRP in some ways. It's amazing because it really references the native token RNT, which is a native token which has increased over 1,000% over the past few days. The Recom Network is the organization responsible for enabling the rental of movable property such as houses and cars using RNT, its native token. As of late, speculations have suggested that the Recom Network may also be preparing to take XRP as payment for the assets that may be rented out. But once more, there is no fact and this is all just conjecture. But keep in mind that this is a sizable firm with a presence in more than 130 nations. Therefore, consider all of their properties and rentable assets, and consider what would happen if they started accepting XRP as payment for their real estate. Why is it impossible for a straightforward business like Recom Network to accept XRP when we have witnessed numerous nations do it? Brazil is doing it, along with the BRICS. Russia, India, South Africa, and China, which are all anticipated to develop their digital global central banks for the BRIC nations on the XRP ledger. In fact, all of these countries have started testing out XRP or Ripple in some capacity. In this case, 
Ripple introduces an XRP-based on-demand cryptocurrency liquidity service in Brazil. Additionally, this connection first enables trade between Mexico and Brazil. Here, the businesses join forces with TravelX, a digital bank, to introduce the initiative and start conducting test runs. Another illustration Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, emphasized the objective and irreversible process by which the petrodollar is losing influence on the world stage. Reporting on the development of a central bank digital currency in Russia in addition to Ripple on the XRP ledger. Introducing a paper that states so, even if I realize it's somewhat low-tech. But if you guys want to view the complete paper, it's on my Twitter, and here's another one. Data in order to fuel the Indian Digital Rupee Initiative, Ripple teamed up with the Central Bank of India on June 28, 2023. In fact, the Ripple Central Bank Digital Currency Platform, which enables central banks and governments to digitalize financial services, is actually going to officially begin implementation in the Indian sector and in the Central Bank of India for the Digital Rupee Project, as you can see in this article. China and South Africa experienced the same thing with China making it clear that while all other cryptocurrencies besides XRP were not particularly preferred in the Chinese market, XRP was an exception, and they would probably move forward with implementing a Chinese digital yen on the XRP ledger. To top it off, they mentioned that the biggest e-commerce market in the world will formally invite Ripple to collaborate on the implementation of cross-border financial operations. The South African Standard Bank reported that more than 13 African nations were already using Ripple and XRP, and that the number of African nations accepting and using XRP is currently expanding as a result of this understanding and the data I just presented. That is absolutely true, and we can draw the logical conclusion that the XRP ledger will be used to build their central bank's digital currency, which will be used to facilitate payments and transactions between each other and to each other based on analysis and data that breaks. Okay, so why is a price of $100 per XRP realistic? The first thing we had to find out was how much transaction volume or payment volume this Western Union actually processes. And we figured out through our search that there has been over $300 billion worth of transaction volume or payment volume. Well, after in-depth analysis of hours and hours, probably even days of research for XRP, even buying myself an XRP coin with case for God's sake, which actually turned out to be quite cool and I'll have it linked in the description. Therefore, we anticipate a 10-20% to 20 growth. We're looking at $320 billion, but for the purposes of this data, we're going to utilize $300 billion. XRP's price is currently 0.52 cents, and it has a market size of nearly $28 billion. We will thus divide 300 billion by 28 billion to arrive at the answer of 10.71. This is multiplied by 0.52 to produce a price of $5.57. Now, this is just assuming that Western Union does transactions once a year. But this is where the $100 come into play. In a relatively short period of time, the BRIC nations had transacted a total of $56 trillion. This is the adjusted GDP for PPP. Therefore, when considering the big picture, it's not even. We demonstrated these ideals to you. The market capitalization of XRP would be $56 trillion if we invested $560. But suppose we only receive 20% of the total amount of transactions made by BRICS Nation. With a market size of $11.2 trillion and a price of $112 per XRP, this would result in a market cap. The calculations show us to have lost $100. The BRICS nations are anticipated to develop their central bank digital currency on the XRP ledger, so even on a small scale, say 20% of transaction volume, we're looking at about $100. Therefore, let's just round up to $100. This is the reality as seen through XRP. Having said that, I sincerely hope you all like this video. Please remember to click the like button. You may use this video to educate your friends and family about the true potential of XRP by subscribing to the channel and sharing it with them. As always, make sure to follow me on Twitter because I frequently promote the most recent news there. So click the follow button to be the first to share your news there. I hope to run across you guys again soon.